Now that says it all pretty much right there, because love is everything. You might think you know everything about George Strait and Miranda Lambert, but did you know that they actually have a secret connection that not many people know about? So what is this connection? And is it the only secret they have between them? Let's get into it. Miranda is known for a lot of things, like being an amazing singer, but I bet one thing you didn't know about her is that she has quite a rebellious nature. This doesn't necessarily sound like a bad thing, but it hasn't always brought happiness to Miranda. Unfortunately, her rebellious nature almost cost her something very important when she was just starting out her career way back in 2006. Back then, Miranda was lucky enough to hit the road with a legendary George Strait, and even luckier because her father joined her. From what was supposed to be a simple trip where she got to showcase her talent, Miranda made a decision that would have ruined everything if George hadn't stepped in. Picture this, a 22-year-old woman finally getting the chance to live on her train. Obviously, she's young and excited. You might even say she's too excited and likely to make some mistakes because of that. And that's exactly what Miranda did. In the spur of the moment, she decided to get some weird tattoo on her arm. And when her father saw it, he just said he wasn't happy at all. And this is just me being nice. For whatever reason, he gets so mad at her because of her horrid and hideous tattoo that he refused to speak to her. This went on for two whole weeks, even though they were sharing a bus at the time. And if George didn't step in when he did, it probably would have gone on for much longer. Somehow, word got back to George that Miranda and her dad were in a pretty serious fight, and he decided to take matters into his own hands. On the last day of the tour, the whole crew was supposed to meet up to take a photo, and George apparently sent someone out for 75 stick-on tattoos so that they could all put one on their arm in the same spot Miranda's tattoo was. The whole point of this was to poke fun at how silly the fight between Miranda and her father was and help fix their relationship. And when Miranda showed up for the picture, not only did 60 members of their tour crew roll up their sleeves with a tattoo on, but so did her father. So thanks to George, Miranda was able to fix her relationship with her dad. But this has to make you wonder, why didn't we decide to go so far, especially for someone who told me no? I mean, what exactly was their relationship like before this happened? I guess maybe he just didn't want to see a father daughter relationship that was ruined for nothing, especially because of how he tragically lost his daughter. Shortly before midnight on June 25th, 1986, in San Marcos, Texas, a tragedy happened that would forever change the street family's lives. George's daughter, Jennifer Lynn, was in a car with her three friends driver lost control of his Ford Mustang as he tried to take a turn too quickly. Because of this, the car rolled over south of San Morocco, not far from George's house. Unfortunately, Jennifer's window was open and she didn't have her seatbelt. From what was supposed to be a simple ride, Jennifer lost her life that night. For the longest time, George and his family struggled to come to terms with losing Jennifer. And I don't think anyone can blame them for that. Because losing a child has got to be the worst thing that could ever happen to a parent. After Jennifer's passing, George stopped giving interviews and avoided every opportunity to address the tragic car accident. But he did speak about the tragedy once in an interview that he did with the New Yorker magazine. This was the only time that he explained why his daughter's passing made him cut down on the number of interviews he would normally agree to. According to him, he just didn't feel like talking about it, so he didn't. The only thing he felt like he could do at that point was sing, so that was all he did. He really didn't care if not talking about it was going to cost him his career. In his words, it just kind of turned out the way it did. It wasn't an intentional thing. After Jennifer passed away in 1986, George and his family started the Jennifer Strait Memorial Foundation in memory of Jennifer. According to the foundation's website, they promote charitable causes for children and focus their donations on various nonprofit organizations, including the Boys and Girls Club San Antonio and St. Jude Train. Even though she isn't here anymore, George uses some of his songs to remember her. In 2005, he released the song, I'll Be There, and he admitted that the song makes him think of Jennifer. According to him, the song hits home for obvious reasons, especially because he's a religious person. And he believes that one day he'll get to see Jennifer in heaven. And he wanted to do a song about that badly. This song was written by Corey Mayo and inspired by the 1999 passing of his father, songwriter Annie Mayo. This isn't the only song of George that reminds him of Jennifer. Two years after Jennifer passed away, George released Baby Blue as the second single off his album, If You Ain't Lovin', You Ain't Livin'. Most people would agree that this song is a very emotional one. Even though it hasn't been confirmed, many believe the song connects to the tragic passing of Jennifer. In the song, the narrator mourns a beautiful girl with bright blue eyes, just like Jennifer's own. Jennifer was George and his wife Norma's first child together. They welcomed her into the world on October 6, 1972. Though the memories of losing her are still painful, George has had no list of his many blessings could be complete without Jennifer. I guess with everything that he's been through, George knows just how precious life is and how anything can happen at any time. This would explain why he knew he had to step in to help Miranda out with her dad. Now, Miranda's relationship with her father can only keep getting better. A couple years ago on Father's Day, she shared a really touching message when she thanked her dad for everything. She said a lot of really nice things about her dad, but I would say that what stood out the most in her message was his teaching her how to be prepared for anything. Well, let's be honest, throughout Miranda's career, she's been through a lot. If we wanted to talk about it all, we'd probably be here for a very long time. So we'll just have to save that story for another time. 
In the meantime, what do you guys think about George stepping in to help Miranda out with her issues with her dad? Do you think he did the right thing by helping her out without her permission? Or do you think he shouldn't have said anything, especially because there was a 50% chance of the outcome being completely different? I mean, imagine if Miranda's dad didn't agree to it in the first place, but felt offended because his and Miranda's issue was not George. How would that have turned out? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below.